These are the most dangerous roads in the world. At just 12 feet long, this narrow road in Bolivia is always surrounded by rain and fog and loses two to 300 people per year. Just one wrong turn and you're falling 4,000 to 15,000 feet to the ground. This 800 mile road by the border of Pakistan and China is terrifying because of its natural disasters, including landslides, avalanches, heavy snow, and flooding. From the construction alone, nearly a thousand workers passed away from landslides. This road in Norway was hit by a dozen windstorms during its construction in the 1980s. When storms begin to pick up, the road becomes filled with water making it unsafe for people driving. Son, why are you home from school so early? I was the only one to answer the question in class. My son's a genius. What was the question? It was who put the trash can on the teacher's head. I'm just gonna go upstairs to use your bathroom. I'll be right back. How are the first few bites tasting, sir? Very good. That's good to hear. Is there anything I could help you with right now? Um, I think I'm good for now. Okay, enjoy. Actually, wait. How's it going, sir? I have something very serious to tell you. Really? What is it? According to DNA test results, that isn't our kid. You don't remember, do you? Remember what? When we were leaving the hospital, we noticed our baby had a dirty diaper, so you told me to go and change the baby. <gasps> Here's three common things that you don't know the purpose of. Number one, the hole in donuts. A long time ago, it was hard to get the edges in the middle equally baked, so they came up with this shape so they didn't have any problems. Number two, the red line on paper. In the past, mice and rats used to chew on paper, so to prevent losing any information, they started leaving spaces where the damage was most likely to occur. And number three, the dimples in golf balls. Golf balls used to be completely smooth, but players realized that cracked and scuffed balls flew better, so they kept using their old ones. So manufacturers started adding dimples so people would buy new ones. I'm feeling thirsty. Can you please get me some water? Should I get you some pizza as well? Oh wow, that would be great. My mouth's watering already. Good. That means you don't need the water anymore. <laughs> All right. Okay, you actually have 11 fingers, so... 11 fingers. Okay, wait, let me count. Why would I say count? I have five, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> I don't know why I counted. One, One two, two... Skip these three. Three. Four, ah, five. Come on, man. She just went from one, two, skip these three, four, five, like... Six. Seven. You're obviously gonna eight, get eleven now. Nine. Ten. 10 11. eleven. Oh, mind blow! Here's the three most dangerous kid toys. In the 1990s, Rollerblade Barbie was released. Each rollerblade used the same wheel mechanism they use in cigarette lighters. So when the Barbie was rolled, they would shoot out sparks. In 1996, the Cabbage Patch Snack Time Kid was released. It ate plastic foods that came with it and exited through a hole in the backpack. But the toy couldn't tell whether it was plastic, your finger, or your hair. And one girl's hair was ripped down to her scalp. Finally, in the 1990s, Nickelodeon released Moon Shoes, which you would strap onto your feet and the springs would help you jump higher. However, they weren't very safe and lots of people sprained and broke their ankles. What are you doing? I'm spraying this place with anti-crocodile spray, but there's no crocodiles here. Of course not. I've been spraying here for two hours. How to talk to attractive girls online. Step one, ask them how their day is going. So how's your day going? How to talk to girls online. Step one, take that stupid thing off your head. Hey. Hey. That was good. That was good? Mm-hmm. How to get girls to stop skipping you on Omegle. I guess uh, we'll never know. <laughs> Do you know how to solve this? You know no, I don't. Okay, I'll erase it. Until I make you mine. Until I make you mine. <gasps> You know that I Biggest coincidences in the world. Shortly before their wedding, Nick and Amy decided to go through Nick's baby photos. In this picture of him playing at the beach during a vacation, Amy noticed herself in the background 11 years before they met. A reporter was asking people on the street in the UK if they remembered the final round of the 1967 FA Cup soccer game. The person he chose to interview turned out to be the goalie who played in the game, and look how happy he was. Do you remember it? Yeah, I do. I played in it. 
Did you? I was goalkeeper for Liverpool. Really? Yeah. Well, that's a stroke of luck me meeting <laughs> you. Yeah. 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 Sorry, can you remind me of your name? Tommy Lawrence. The guys in these pictures look the exact same, but they're not even related. The first picture is Enzo Ferrari, who was a race car driver and the founder of the car brand Ferrari. The other guy is a soccer player named Mesu. But the scariest part is that Enzo died in 1988, which is the same year that Mesu was born. Better run back over to my house before 12 a.m. I'll see you next year. <laughs> Good one. Hey, Luke. What? Why was Six afraid of Nine on New Year's Eve? I don't know why. Because nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Happy New Year! Luke, guess what? What? I haven't showered since last year. <laughs> oh. Hello? Hey man, do you want to hang out today? Uh, I'm actually playing Genshin Impact on my computer right now because an update just came out. So I'm going to have to pass. Sorry. Mom, can I please get a computer? Why do you want a computer all of a sudden? Because my friend is always playing this really fun open world RPG game where you play with different heroes that each have their own special abilities. <sighs> you know what? Fine. Let's go to the store right now. But it's going to be your early birthday present, okay? Okay! Thank you so much! That's the one! Right there! A thousand dollars? I'm not buying that! Please, Mom! I just want to play Genshin Impact with my friend! You know you can play that on your mobile device, right? What? Really? Yeah. Luke, do you want some chips for the movie? No thanks, I'm good. I'm trying to eat healthy. Okay. Ah, just wait, I gotta go to the bathroom first. I'm not feeling very well. Can I talk to you for a minute? Yeah, for sure. I'm afraid he's not gonna make it unless you treat him like a king and you're at his side 24 hours a day. So what did the doctor say? Well, she said you probably won't make it. Luke, what is the past participle of the verb to ring? What do you think it is, ma'am? I don't think. I know. I don't think I know either. Hello? Hi, I have a pepperoni bacon pizza with red peppers and pineapples. Um, I didn't order a pizza. This must be a mistake. No, it's not. Your neighbor forgot their Instagram password and wanted to share with you what they're having for supper. <gasps> Mom, I'm really tired. I'm just gonna go have like a 15 minute nap. Jeez, you need to start going to bed earlier. Yeah, whatever. What time is it? Oh no, I didn't do my homework! Good morning guys, I didn't finish my homework last night. What? Do you even know what time it is? Now sit down, dinner's almost ready. Will you remember me tomorrow? Yeah. Will you remember me next week? Yeah. Will you remember me next month? Yeah. Will you remember me next year? Yeah! Knock knock. Who's there? See, you forgot me already. Dad, I don't want to go to school tomorrow. Son, when Abraham Lincoln was your age, he used to walk 12 miles to go to school. That's great, but you know what, Dad? What is it? When he was your age, he became the president of USA. Knock knock. Who's there? Where when? Where when who? My place, tomorrow, me and you. Unexplained photos that have finally been solved, part 3. After seeing this skeleton, many people thought mermaids were real. But it turns out someone just photoshopped this picture. Many people are shocked that the dog is the same size as the horse, and the picture is real, the owners just decided to enhance their dog. This picture shows two rainbows and a tornado. The Weather Network even aired this picture on live television, but later found out that it was just photoshopped. Mom, you lied to me. When, son? You said my younger brother's a small angel. So? Why didn't he fly when I threw him off the balcony? There's something on your chin. Did I get it? No, it's the third one down. 
Would you like to be the sun in my life? Oh, yes. Good. Let's stay 92.96 million miles away from me. <laughs> Can I have two carrots, please? Here you go. Thanks. Can I have two carrots, please? Here you go. Thanks. Can I have two carrots, please? Sorry, we don't have any carrots. We only have apples. I'll buy two apples then. Here you go. Thanks. Why do you put the apples in your ears? Because you didn't have any carrots. <coughs> I want you. Today was the worst, man. I know, man. Mine too. My little brother got hit by a bus. Oh, man. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. What was bad about your day? I got fired today from my job as a bus driver. <gasps> oh, uh... This robber showed up to the bank he robbed during a live broadcast. In Minnesota, a man was reporting about a bank being robbed the day before, when an employee ran out of the building behind him and pointed to something in the distance. Tyler, just 24 hours ago, this bank in... What? Oh, that's the robber. Uh... This is live TV, folks. That's the robber just went by. Uh, according to the bank uh, employee, so I gotta go here and call 911. I'll talk to you later. The bank employee ran after him, but he jumped into a van. But because of this, the police were able to track him down and arrest him. It turns out he had robbed the same bank two days in a row. All right, class, I'm gonna come around and pick up last night's homework now. Oh shoot. Um. Uh. I guess I forgot it at home. Okay, just bring it in tomorrow. The test results are out. Come with me and we'll go see them. I'm with my dad. Can you look for me? And if I fail one subject, text me good morning to you. And if I fail two subjects, text me good morning to you and your dad. Mom, I'm going to bring Bobby with me and we're going to go eat dinner, okay? All right, sounds good with me. Just make sure he takes care of you. Don't worry, Mommy. We'll be good. Come on, let's go. Have fun. So... What are we going to eat? Mmm, do you want to order pizza slices? Sure, why not? It is Friday, after all. Hey guys, what's for dinner? Oh, hey, your brothers went out for dinner, so your dad and I decided to order pizzas for ourselves. Well, what about me? I'm not marking your test. Why? Your writing is too ugly. Looks like my writing and your face have something in common. What kind of boyfriend are you looking for? A boy who doesn't drink or smoke, and he must wake up at 5 a.m. and go to sleep at 9 p.m. I know where you could find a boy like that. You do? Where? In jail. <gasps> Five coolest houses in the world. The transparent house is in Tokyo and consists of three floors with walls that are completely see-through. According to the people who built it, it was inspired by ancestors who lived in trees. In Hong Kong, there's a house that's 105 square meters with walls that move. Storage spaces unfold to create 24 individualized rooms. In Australia, there's a $700,000 house that's built on a turntable and it makes a complete rotation every 30 minutes. In Malibu, California, there's the skateboard house. It's a house designed by a former world champion skateboarder and the inside consists of a large skate park. Finally, we have the Hobbit House in Wales. It was created by a photographer who's a fan of the movie The Lord of the Rings. The cost was $5,200 and only natural materials were used. Three most dangerous airplane landings. On a Myanmar Airlines flight in 2019, the plane lost its front wheels, so they were unable to land. The pilot had to do circles around the landing area to burn fuel so it would slow down the plane and make it easier to land. The plane landed with the rear wheels first, then the nose of the plane hit the ground. Everyone remembers Sully after his emergency landing on the Hudson River. Two geese collided with the engines of the plane to make them stop working, so the pilot had no choice but to try landing in the river, which he did successfully. At an airport in South Sudan, a plane carrying 43 people caught on fire after the wing collided with a car. What happened is the pilot couldn't see the runway because of the heavy fog, so he had to make a blind landing. But fortunately, all the passengers got off safely. Strangest last meal requests on death row. In 1963, Victor Harry Fager was sentenced to death for a kidnap and murder. For his final meal, he requested a single olive with the seed left in it. After his execution, the seed was found in his pocket. They believe he wanted to be buried with it so a tree would sprout on top of him. Gerald Lee Mitchell requested an assorted bag of Jolly Ranchers and he ate every single one. Now before I tell you the craziest one, I found this app that boosts your snap score and makes your Snapchat looked like this. If you want to try it, just press the button on my profile. In 1990, James Edward Smith requested a lump of soil, but because dirt isn't on the list of permitted food, he was served a cup of yogurt instead. This hotel sucks. What's wrong? I got no sleep. Every 15 minutes this loud banging noise woke me up. Oh, I'm so sorry. 
How was your guys' stay? Terrible. The guy in the room beside us was snoring so loud that we had to bang on the wall every 15 minutes to wake him up. <gasps> you should go study. But why? So you get good marks. Then, you'll get a high paying job. Then, you'll have a nice car, a nice house, and a better life. Then, you'll relax. What do you think I'm doing right now? <gasps> Most respectful moments in sports. During a match, Cristiano Ronaldo broke a fan's nose from kicking the ball. But at the end of the match, he looked for the fan to check on him and also ended up giving him one of his shirts. Matthias Steiner, who was a weightlifter, was determined to win an Olympic gold medal after his wife passed away. During the 2008 Beijing Olympics, he ended up winning gold. And on the podium, he posed with a medal and a picture of his wife. During a marathon where two brothers were competing from Great Britain, one of them stopped near the end because he was too tired. His brother, who was a few meters behind him, took him by his arm and helped him cross the finish line in first place. Doctor, I want to lose weight. What should I do? Do you want my camera? What about my iPhone 12 Pro Max? What about my Lamborghini? What about a hundred million dollars? Congrats, you're skinny now. <laughs> I would like to withdraw $10. For withdrawals less than $100, please use the ATM. May I ask why? It's a rule. Now please leave if there's nothing else because there's customers behind you. Then can you please withdraw all the money I have? You have $300,000, but the bank doesn't hold that much. Can you make an appointment and come back tomorrow? How much can I withdraw right now? Any amount up to 3000 Okay then, I'll take 3000 Here you go. Thank you. Now please deposit this 2990 back into my account. Hey mom, what was that loud noise outside? There's a big storm outside and it's raining really hard. Can you close all the windows? Yeah, sure. <gasps> hey dear, there's a- Stop it. One shall not speak while we're eating. If you say so. Now tell me, what were you saying? Nothing. There's just a cockroach in your burger. <gasps> I get some medications for hiccups, please? No! What did you do that for? Well, you don't have hiccups anymore, do you? I never had hiccups. My wife does. <gasps> There's $20 and a $5 off coupon for the pizza. Okay, I'll be right back. Why do you still have the coupon? Mom, I had enough money. I didn't need the coupon. <gasps> Pack your bag, sweetheart. I won $10 million in the lottery. Wow! Now London or Switzerland? Who cares? Just pack your bags and get lost! <laughs> Explain mysteries caught at schools. In 1961 at Westall High School in Melbourne, several students spotted a UFO that flew at low altitude. It made its way through trees until it took flight again and disappeared. Another unexplained mystery is the strange stench that hit a high school in Rhode Island. The stench which was apparently from the cafeteria was so strong that they had to suspend final classes. But to this day they still have no clue what it was from. The Cokeville miracle occurred at an elementary school, where a former police officer and his wife brought a bomb to the school. They kidnapped the entire school in exchange for a large sum of money. The bomb exploded and the couple died on the spot. But thankfully, none of the children were harmed. You think you're smart? Yeah, I'd say so. Oh yeah? Spell it. S-M-A-R-T. <laughs> I said spell it. <gasps> Five most unusual prisons. In Bolivia's San Pedro prison, each prisoner has to pay for their cell. Each one is between $1,000 and $1,500. And to get the money, they have to work. That's why the prison is full of restaurants and small markets. In Norway, there's an eco-friendly prison. Everything is recycled, solar panels are used, and most of the food is produced. The prison actually looks more like a summer camp because you could play tennis, swim, and go horseback riding. The Alcatraz prison was a small island in San Francisco. It's almost impossible to escape because you would have to go through concrete walls, the rocky coastline, and swim through the freezing cold water. In Cebu, prison in the Philippines, prisoners dance as part of their exercise program. And there's actually a viral video where they dance to Michael Jackson's Thriller. Finally, there's a prison in Austria that holds prisoners who don't require maximum security. The prisoners even wear their own clothes, cook their own food, and live a fairly normal life. Biggest things ever stolen. A tank from the California army was stolen by an unemployed plumber in 1995. The man destroyed everything in his path as the police chased him for 20 minutes. A beach in Jamaica was stolen in 2008. Police still don't know who did it, but they took sand that corresponds to 500 truckloads of sand. A World War II fighter plane was stolen by an Air Force commander. He restored it and sold it for over $300,000. This 3,000 pound bell was stolen from a Buddhist temple. The bell was only used for special occasions and was priceless to the monks. But it was sold for $500 a year later. And believe it or not, people in Mahatma village in India stole a mountain peak. They worked 11 hours a day to cut the rock. They stole it then sold it so they could feed their families. I wanted to say I like you. Do you like me? No. Oh. You never asked if I love you. Aww. Do you love me? No.
Choose three pictures that will test your brain. I want you to pause this video and comment how many holes are in this shirt. If you guess six, you're wrong. There's actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Since you can see right through the shirt, there's holes on each side. I want you to look at this picture and try to figure out what's wrong. If you can't figure it out, flip your phone upside down. Now I want you to pause this video again and figure out which row has a straight line. If you didn't figure it out, they're actually all a straight line. Words can't even describe how beautiful you are. Aww, thank you. But numbers can. Records flight attendants never tell passengers. Even if you ask for regular coffee, they'll give you decaf. Because they prefer you to sleep during the flights because it means less work for them. The water used for tea and coffee isn't the cleanest. It's the same as the water used for toilets as it's pumped from tanks that have probably never been cleaned. Locking yourself in the bathroom often isn't the best idea. Because it's possible to open them from the outside. And if you're found to be suspicious of anything unusual, you'll be taken to the police when you land. Sea trays are one of the dirtiest things on an airplane. Because although they clean the plane after all the passengers leave, they don't clean the trays because it would take too long. Oxygen masks don't provide as much air as you would think. They only provide 15 to 20 minutes, which is just enough time for the plane to land. Your girlfriend looks so ugly. So? I mean, how could you love someone so ugly? Look at these $20 bills. This one is good looking, and this one is ugly with dirt on it. Will the value of the ugly one be less in a store? No. So same with people. It's not about looks. It's about the value they hold in our life. How long is the flight from you London to New York? Um, just a minute. Thank you. She said a minute. Wow. Look at this funny TikTok. <laughs> that was actually a good one. I thought that app was just cringe. Alright, what's this thing called? TikTok? Alright, now how do I do this? <laughs> that will have to do it. Look, it's that guy that posted that cringe TikTok. How can he even come to school after posting that? Well, my last video got a thousand views, so I'm sure I could get more. Did you hear he just hit a hundred thousand followers? Yeah, but he just posts cringe videos. He's not going to get any more than that. <laughs> You're right. <gasps> it's Luke Davidson. He just hit 10 million followers today. 10 million? Yeah. It was just a dream. Good morning, Luke. I just wanted to congratulate you on 10 million followers. Huh? <gasps> Worst school punishments. In 2011, a teacher from Albuquerque called the police because a student burped in class. The boy was then taken to juvenile prison for testing. Christopher Baker, who was a nine-year-old student from Kentucky, was put in a duffel bag for misbehaving in class. The school claimed that he was in the therapy bag for almost 20 minutes. Due to the mother's claims, the teachers involved were fired. At a school in New Jersey, a student accidentally spilled water on the lunchroom floor. When the assistant principal saw the incident, she forced 16 students to eat their lunch on the floor for 10 days. When the parents found out, they sued the school, winning $500,000. Finally, a five-year-old from Pennsylvania received a 10-day suspension for wanting to shoot her Hello Kitty bubble gun at another student. She said, I'll shoot you, you shoot me, and we'll play together. After the teacher heard the conversation, she sent her to the principal's office. And even though she just had a bubble gun, she was suspended for a terroristic threat. Theme park rides that had to be shut down. On this roller coaster called the Dragon Challenge, located at Universal Studios Islands of Adventure, there were two tracks that at one point were very close together. Several riders got hurt over the years, so they destroyed it and closed it in 2017. The most serious injury on that ride was someone who lost their eye. On the catapult ride in Mount Olympus Water and Theme Park, you went up so fast in such a short amount of time that many people fainted. In 2015, when a child and woman were getting ready to take off, one of the cables snapped so they closed the ride two days later. And finally, Son of the Beast is the world's tallest and fastest wooden roller coaster. It was closed in 2009 because 27 people had to go to the hospital for neck and chest injuries due to a broken beam. It later reopened but head trauma was reported because of the violent motion from the roller coaster. So it was then shut down for good. Hello, is this the police? Yes, what's your emergency? Someone stole my dashboard, my steering wheel, the brake pedal, and even the accelerator. Okay, I'm on it. Never mind, I got in the back seat by mistake. My neighbor owes me $500, but he won't pay up. What should I do? Do you have any proof that he owes you the money? Nope. Okay, then write him a letter asking for the 5000 that he owes you. But it's only 500 Exactly. That's what he'll reply with? Then you'll have the proof. 
How long has everyone here been married for? I've been married for almost 50 years. Wow, that's amazing. Perhaps you can take a few minutes to share with everyone how you stay married to the same woman for so long. Well, I try to treat her nice, buy her presents, take her on trips, and best of all, for our 25th anniversary, I took her to the Bahamas. Well, that's really beautiful and an inspiration to all of us. Maybe you could tell us what you're going to do for your 50th anniversary. Well, I'm thinking of going back to the Bahamas to pick her up. <gasps> What's your problem? I'm too smart for the first grade. My sister's in grade three, and I'm smarter than her, too. Well, then let's go see what the principal has to say. Okay. How about I give him a test, and if he fails just one question, he has to go back to class and be quiet. Okay, what's three times three? Nine. Six times six? Thirty-six. I see no reason why he can't go to the third grade. He answered all my questions right. Can I ask him some questions? Of course. Go ahead. What does a cow have four of that I only have two of? Legs. What do you have in your pants that I don't have? Pockets. What does a dog do that a man steps into? Pants. What starts with F and ends with K? Fire truck. Put him in the sixth grade. I got the last four questions wrong myself. Uh, <gasps> I want you to be... Ah, let me play my favorite game. Luke, can you get off the iPad and do the dishes, please? <sighs> okay. Here we go. And I just washed your clothes. Can you fold them, please? Okay, is that everything? Just one more thing. I want you to go take out the trash. <sighs> fine. <sighs> fine, we have a few minutes to play on the iPad before the bus gets here. Mom, I just missed the bus. That's it. I'm taking away your iPad for a month, and you're going to have to walk to school today. I didn't want to have to do this, but you left me with no choice. <gasps> Strangest things found on beaches. In 2016, thousands of snowballs were found on a beach in Siberia. It's said that they were formed from wind and cold weather. It's the first time something like this has ever happened and probably the last. If you've ever thought about sending a message in a bottle, somebody already did, 101 years ago. A German fisherman found a message and actually managed to get it to the daughter of the sender. Although it looks like something out of a movie, a robotic hand was found on a beach near New York and no one really knows where it came from. And if that one wasn't strange enough, a dinosaur bone was found on a beach in Washington. Scientists analyzed it and said it could be from a T-Rex or a Velociraptor, and it's estimated to be around 80 million years old. And finally, the creepiest one of all. Between 2007 and 2008, multiple feet were found still in shoes on the beaches in Canada. In total, seven feet were found and there's still no explanation. This is the worst form of torture. White room torture is when a prisoner is locked up in a soundproof room that's completely white. The walls are white, their clothes are white, and all they could eat is white rice on a white plate. If they have to go to the bathroom, they slip a white piece of paper under the door. Then a guard with padded shoes opens another door with a white bathroom. After months or even years in the room, the prisoner would start to have hallucinations. They then start to forget everything, including who they are and what their parents look like. Five most funny design fails. This sign says do not enter, but it also says entrance only, so I guess you can't go in or out. In this children's book, it says five bananas, but if you count them, there's actually six. In this lady's bathroom, there's holes cut out in the stall so you could see if anybody's using it. In this bathroom, the paper towel dispenser's right over the sink, so when you go to get paper, it gets wet. Now, before I show you the craziest one, I found this app that tells you your celebrity lookalike, and apparently I look like Marilyn Monroe. Just press a button on my profile to get it. Finally, this person thought they were doing a four-mile run trail, but after they finished the four miles, they reached realized that it kept going. This is such a good song. The song is so old. Same with your parents, but you still listen to them. Where the heck are my AirPods? Aha! Nope, not here! Luke, I have a question. Hey, I know you took my AirPods. What? No, I didn't. Don't lie to me. I know you took them. Don't make me tell- Oh. Here they are. What was that for? I was doing your laundry when I found a piece of paper in your pocket with the name Mary Lou on it. Who is she? Are you cheating on me? Honey, don't worry about it. Remember three weeks ago when I went to the horse race with my friends? Mary Lou was the horse I was betting on. Oh, good. I'm going to continue with the laundry. Ah! What was that for? Your horse call. Unexplained photos that have finally been solved, part two. When Hurricane Sandy hit New York a few years ago, everyone started sharing this post to show how crazy it was. But it's actually just a screenshot from the movie The Day After Tomorrow that somebody posted and tricked everyone. You can find this picture all over Pinterest saying it's a Japanese watermelon, but it's actually just a regular watermelon that's photoshopped. Now this picture is real, but the story is fake. The story was that the antelope seen the tigers coming after her babies, so she sacrificed her life. 
but the real story is that they grew up together and they're just play fighting and no one got hurt. <gasps> What's the matter? Why are you yelling like a little girl? There's a giant spider in the bathroom. Well then get some paper towel and kill it. I can't. I hate spiders. Ah, fine. Where is it? It's right there, but don't let it get away or else I'm not sleeping tonight. Come here, you. Gotcha. Yes! <gasps> we have a substitute. <gasps> Come sit beside me, but I'll get in trouble. She won't even know. <sighs> okay. Good morning, class. My name is Mrs. Spatula, and I'm going to be your substitute for the day. <laughs> Mrs. Spatula? <laughs> What's so funny, boys? <laughs> Nothing missed. What's your name? I'm gonna do attendance. My name is Ben. Last name? D Dover. Thank you there, Mr. Ben Dover. What's so funny? <gasps> George Lopez. Here. Okay. Scotty Turner? Yep. Okay. Logan Smith? Here. Wait. Smith. 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 Do you have an older brother? Yeah. You do? What's his name? Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Jeffrey Smith. That's your brother. Mm-hmm. He was a bad kid. Always in detention. Never finished his work. Always late to class. Don't tell me you're like him. Are you like him? Uh, no. All right. Don't worry. We're going to have a fun year. How's he doing, though? He's doing fine. That's good to hear. Okay. Uh, All right. Two plus two equals four. Four. Thank you. And today we're going to be starting a new unit. So I'm going to write... And that's how you solve the questions in this new unit. Does anyone have any questions? Don't stop until I make you mine. I love you. you know I don't love I you. Think again. No, no, and no. Oh. Waiter, bring separate bills. Oh! Okay, okay, I love you. you know Hi, boys. Unfortunately, I just ran out of candy. Sorry about that. Oh, come on! You are blind down! Well, actually, I got home from my job a couple hours ago, but okay. Technically, I was never selling any candy because it was free, but whatever. And now there's a random unicorn. You know what? It's time for bed. This is on Earth that no human has set foot on. This place is the Island of Snakes. It's in Brazil and is only visited by Brazilian military and some scientific researchers. You're not allowed to go there because there's one to five snakes everywhere you step. And the golden snake, which is one of the most dangerous snakes in the world, lives there. Grand Carpunsum is a mountain located in the kingdom of Bhutan. It's over 7,000 meters in the air and has never been touched by a human and never will. Because in 1994, climbing over 6,000 meters in the air was prohibited for religious reasons. And lastly, North Sentinel Island. The Indian government banned any contact with the island because of the aggressiveness from the people that live there. Recently, two fishermen decided to explore the island and they were killed by the people that live there. Doctor, I can't sleep at night. I keep seeing donkeys playing soccer. All right, I'm going to give you some medicine and I want you to start using it tonight, okay? Can I start tomorrow? Why tomorrow? Because tonight's the finals. <laughs> we should really go to bed. It's already 3 a.m. Yeah, I'm tired. Okay, good night. Good night. You guys need to be quiet. I'm trying to sleep. Sorry, Mommy. We're gonna go to sleep now. Here's Johnny! Hello? Are you there? Yes. Who are you? I'm Watt. What's your name? Watt's my name. Yes. What's your name? My name is John Watt. John what? Yes. Yeah. Are you Jones? No, I'm not. Will you tell me your name then? Will not. Why not? My name is not. Not what? Not what? Not. Keep this between the two of us, but yesterday, mom put a hundred dollars on the counter and I took it without her knowing. <sighs> That's not even that bad. A couple of weeks ago, I stuck out to a party while mom and dad thought I was sleeping. You did what? Oh, hi Eric. Did you hear what we were talking about? I heard the whole thing. <sighs> Please don't tell mom. You're gonna have to give me something. Fine. I'll give you five dollars. That's not enough. <sighs> Ten. Make it twenty. Deal. We'll give you twenty. 
Let's just split it $10 each. Actually, I also want that hoodie. No, this is brand new. Mom? Fine, take it. Thank you. Mom, you won't believe what Luke and Tommy did. Miss, can I go to the bathroom, please? No, not right now. What? Why not? Please, I really have to go. You have to wait until the last student gets back. This kid has no friends. I have more friends than you. No, you don't. Your family doesn't count. The reason there's UFO sightings in Area 51. In the 1950s, US planes were doing low-flying recon missions over Russia. They did these missions to obtain more information because they were enemies. But they were constantly worried about being spotted and shot down. So in 1954, the president authorized the development of a high-flying top-secret aircraft. They needed a location that wasn't easily accessed by the public, so they chose Area 51. In 1955, there were spottings of UFOs in that area. And this is because they were testing the new aircraft that they built. It could fly higher than 60,000 feet in the air. And at the time, normal aircrafts could only fly 10,000 to 20,000 feet in the air. So when pilots would spot this top secret aircraft above them, they would think it's a UFO. Okay class, hide in your test if you haven't already. Here you go, miss. Thank you, Luke. Have a great weekend. Thanks, you too. That test wasn't even hard. What took you so long? I got stuck on the back of the page. On the what? The back of the page. Hello darkness, my old friend. You're such a loser. Who's interrupting me during my TikTok? What's this? A package from Captain Bling Bling? Let's see what we got. The new MacBook Pro? There's probably nothing even in. Are you serious? Let's see if it works. <gasps> Thank you so much, Captain Bling Bling. I thought you were fake. This game is so much fun. <gasps> Full battery! Hey! Don't unplug my phone! I won't, but can I unplug the speaker? No! I'm using it to watch the TV! What? My iPad's about to die! Well then why don't you go plug it in somewhere else? Because then I can't sit on the couch and use it! Well I need my phone in here just in case someone calls, so sorry! <sighs> Not again! Oh shoot! Luke, I need to plug in my phone! Can you find somewhere else? But I just plugged in my iPad! My house, my rules! <sighs> That's it! Uh-huh. Bye now. <gasps> hey! What are you doing? Don't worry, Mom. I got the Ugreen Nexode 100 watt charger, which has four ports, so we can charge all of our devices at the same time. Oh. Okay. I'll have a cheeseburger and fries, please. You Sir, you know you're in a library, right? Sorry. Oh, oh, what am I forgetting? Ketchup. Mom, I do ketchup. Really? Let me see. May I use the bathroom? As long as you can tell me the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Where is P? Running down my leg. Most dangerous prison inmates in the world. Charles Manson was an American criminal who led a group of murderers called the Manson family. He was convicted of conspiracy for the murders of seven people and sentenced to death. But he was later given a life sentence in prison due to a change in the law. Aileen Wernos was an American serial killer who admitted she had killed seven men in one year. She was nicknamed the monster and sentenced to death by lethal injection in 2002 after 10 years in prison. Ted Bundy was another serial killer who took the lives of at least 30 women. But the actual number of victims is unknown. He was sentenced to death and executed in the electric chair. Jeffrey Dahmer was nicknamed the Milwaukee Cannibal. He was sentenced to life in prison but died after fighting another prisoner. I wish you had talent like the star player on your soccer team. But mommy, what? I actually have a secret talent that I haven't told you about. Really? What is it? My laugh will arrive in four to five business days. <laughs> Edit. The package got stolen. <laughs> See, those oh. ones make me laugh. This dude speaks as if he's figuring out English each time he opens his mouth <laughs> and is surprised by the sounds slash words that are coming out. It's true. But then, just wait. A couple comments down on the exact same video. I don't know why y'all hate... I don't know why y'all love... 
I don't know why y'all. <clears throat> I can't even read this now because of the last <laughs> comment. <laughs> why do we drink water? Do you know the answer, Luke? Because we can't eat it. Most wanted people in the world. Eugene Palmer is wanted for supposedly shooting and killing his daughter-in-law in 2012. His ex had filed a restraining order against his son which made him mad. For giving him up or providing information to find him, the FBI is offering a reward of up to $100,000. Mexican drug trafficker Rafael Cuero Contero was arrested by the DEA. He spent 28 years in prison until he was released in 2013. But in 2015 he was convicted of murder and is currently considered a fugitive from justice. The reward for his capture is $20 million. Robert William Fisher made the FBI's top 10 most wanted list for murdering his wife and two kids, then exploding their house in 2001. Ma'am, do you know why I pulled you over? No, but I'm in a rush. I understand, ma'am, but I have to ticket anyone over 55. That's discrimination! Ma'am, I meant the speed limit. <gasps> From all this talking, I assume you're done? From all this complaining, I assume you're single. Would you like to share with the class what you're talking about? Obviously not, that's why I whispered. <gasps> Do you want me to tell you what I said to him? Yeah. I said mirrors don't lie, and lucky for you, they can't laugh either. I quit my job today. After those harsh words from my boss, I really can't work for him anymore. Wow, what did he say? You're fired. Please, 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 I have to go to the bathroom! Yes, Eric? May I go to the washroom, please? Yes, of course you can! What?! How can I help you, Luke? Can I go to the bathroom, please? You'll have to wait until Eric comes back. Luke, can you tell me how many seconds there are in a year? Uh, 12. 12? Are you sure? Yeah, January 2nd, February 2nd, March 2nd. I think I like this girl. Really? Who? Um, she kind of looks like you. Aw, is it me? No, it's your sister. Real life glitches caught on camera. A guy pulled out a camera to take a picture of a bird when he seen this helicopter taking off. The helicopter starts flying but the propellers aren't even moving. A dad was recording his son while he was looking in the mirror. The boy turned around to look at the camera but his reflection in the mirror didn't follow his actions. In 1995 when Mike Tyson was boxing, there was somebody in the crowd recording on a phone. But the thing is, phones with cameras didn't come out until 5 years after this fight. And finally, these people were having a street race on the highway. As soon as the cars passed, you could see a dog in the middle of the highway. It would have been impossible to miss it so it had to have teleported. I'm going to get groceries and I want you to have the house clean by the time I get back, okay? Okay. So that means sweeping the floor, doing the dusting, and vacuuming the whole house. Yeah, whatever. I'll get it done. Okay, I'll see you in about two hours. What are you doing? Oh, I was just going to the bathroom. Oh, okay. The house looks nice and clean. All right, are you ready to leave? Yep. Oh, actually, wait. I should get my sunglasses. It's supposed to be really sunny out today. I'll be right back. Okay, make it quick. Where the heck could they be? I have two questions. What are they? Where have you been all my life? Aw, so sweet. What's the other question? Can you please go back? Hey! Hi, Luke! Who was that? Cindy. Oh, yeah? Mom, she's just a friend. Just a friend, hey? Aha! Cindy Lachlan. 
Lachlan, 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 Lachlan! Oh. Hello? Yeah, hi, it's Luke's mom. Who? It's Luke Davidson's mom. Oh, hi. I was wondering if your daughter would like to go on a date with my son sometime. Uh, yeah. That sounds like a wonderful idea. <gasps> we were just at the mall the other day. I don't get why you made me come back again. Oh, hey again, Cindy. Hi, Luke. I set you guys up on a date. How much milk do these cows give? Which one, the black one or the brown one? The brown one. A couple of liters per day. And the black one? A couple of liters per day. I see. What do you give them to eat? Which one? Black or brown? Black. It eats grass. And the other one? Grass. Why do you keep asking which one when the answers are the same? Because the black one's mine. Oh, then whose is the brown one? It's also mine. Ah! I want to break up with you. What? You'll never meet anyone else like me. Yeah, that's the whole point. I haven't drove a vehicle since I became the Pope, and since we have lots of time before the flight, can I drive the rest of the way? Of course! Hold on for a minute. Chief, we have a situation. I pulled over someone important. How important? A governor? No, sir. He's bigger. So what? A celebrity? More important, sir. A major politician? No, sir. He's much more important. Well, who is it? Well, actually, I'm not sure, but the Pope's his driver. <gasps> Sweetheart, do you have any jokes? Yeah, I have a really good joke. Okay, then tell me that very nice joke that you have. You. <laughs> expensive things thrown away. J.K. Rowling, who wrote Harry Potter, gave an interview or one of her books. He thought it would be a flop, so he threw it in the trash. Today, the first edition of the copy sells for over $80,000. In England, one of the machines used by the British government to decipher secret messages during World War II was thrown into a recycling plant. The machine is valued at $10,000 and is considered one of the most important pieces of history in the world. A woman in the U.S. took her 1976 Apple I computer to a recycling center. Not too long later, the owners of the center auctioned the computer for $200,000. But they're now trying to find the former owner to share the money with. James Howell lost 7,500 bitcoins in 2013 after losing the hard drive that he stored them on. At the time, one coin was $130, but today each coin is $40,000, meaning he lost over $300 million. Secrets movie theaters don't want you to know. Movie theaters earn very little from ticket sales. That's why they decided to lower the cost of tickets and raise the cost of food. So the earnings would go entirely to the movie theater. Food combos won't always save you money. Sometimes it's just a strategy to make you think it's the best option. So next Next time, check if it's better to buy a combo or buy the food separately. Sometimes there's people yelling at the cabin for the movie to start. But what they don't know is that the cabin is completely empty. Thanks to new technology, human assistance isn't needed. Movies will never start at the time the ticket says it will. This way they'll get more people to watch the ads before the movie. And if you ever thought you were cool sneaking into another movie than the one that you bought, the employees don't really care as long as there are seats available. Stop making fun of me. Make me! I'm sorry, but your mom already made that mistake. Can you help me in the garden today? What do you think I am? A gardener? Hey, sweetie, can you help me fix the door handle? What do you think I am? A carpenter? <gasps> okay, class, I want everyone to introduce themselves by saying their first name and something that you enjoy doing. We're going to start off with the boys first. My name is Luke, and I like watching sports. My name is Jesse, and I like watching sports, too. My name is Todd, and I also like watching sports. Wow, all the boys love watching sports. What about the girls? My name is Sports. Can I have money for a gym membership? Will you become John Cena by going to the gym? Am I becoming Einstein by going to school? Luke, can you sweep the floor before I get home from work, please? <sighs> Fine. Alright, I'll see you later. Just a reminder to sweep the floor. <sighs> Whatever, I'll do it after this game. I'm home! So, did you sweep the floor? <sighs> no, I forgot. Are you serious? <laughs> Honey, is everything okay? Uh-huh. Why do you think you deserve a raise? Well, there's three reasons why I want a raise. First, I iron clothes better than you. Who said you iron better than me? Your husband did. Oh, 
The second reason is that I'm a better cook than you. That's nonsense. Who said you were a better cook than me? Your husband did. Oh, my third reason is that I'm a better lover than you. Did my husband say that? No, the gardener did. <gasps> Secret hotels don't want you to know. The free breakfast they offer isn't really free. The cost of the breakfast is included in the room's rate. The people who work in housekeeping only straighten the sheets and arrange the pillows. They only wash them if there's a visible stain. Booking a room is more expensive at night because that's when most people are looking for reservations. The ideal time to call the hotel is between 5 and 6 p.m. Because at night they increase their prices because they know there's not many other options. Tipping the staff can give you a lot of benefits, such as deeper cleaning in your room, a special treatment, improvements in your room, and in general, better service. Five-star hotels know your social status before you arrive, and will give more attention to famous or wealthy people. And lastly, everything is negotiable. Hotels will always be open to negotiating a few things so you stay and leave a high review. Hey, Luke. Huh? What are you doing? I'm doing my favorite supervillain's dance. Uh-huh. <laughs> I just love his laugh. Now what are you doing? I'm watching my favorite movie, The Joker. Now what are you doing? I'm playing this super fun zombie apocalypse game called State of Survival. Oh, I thought you were going to say something about The Joker. That's why I'm playing it. Huh? They're having a crossover with The Joker and I get to play as him. Oh no! The zombies are attacking my face! Don't ask me any more questions. Find out for yourself by pressing the button on Luke's TikTok profile. I have your son. I don't even have a son. Oh yeah? Then who just asked me for warm milk and made me cut the crust off his sandwich? Oh no! You have my husband! <laughs> Should I get in trouble for something that I didn't even do? No. Good, because I didn't do the homework. Son, if you study today, I'll buy you a phone. Okay, Dad, I'll go right now. I finished. I lied. Me too. <gasps> what are your fees? I charge $50 for three questions. That's awfully steep, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose so. Now what's your final question? You know how to do question 11? No, I'm not on that question yet. You'll have to ask the teacher. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay. Mom? The receipt's in the bag. Thank you. You too. Hey man, how's it going? My boyfriend got me a new tab. Wow, I'll ask my boyfriend if I can get one. Babe, can you get me a new tab, please? Sure, open your laptop. Online booking, I love you so much. Now open Google Chrome. Done. Now press Control T. the creepiest McDonald's in the world. In 1986, this McDonald's opened for the World Expo in Canada. Because of its location and cool features, it was placed ahead of the competition. It had real plants, wooden floors, and art covering the walls. Instead of you being able to see the kitchen like in regular McDonald's, the creators hid it. And to get the food to customers, they placed it on a conveyor belt. Millions of people from around the world ate there because it was a must-see tourist attraction. At the end of the expo, it was closed and abandoned for years. Now it looks like this. Unexplained photos that have finally been solved, part 1. In the 1960s, this picture was taken and everyone thought Bigfoot was in the forest. But everyone later found out that it was just a man practicing for his role in a movie. This photo was taken over a mall in Nigeria and everyone thought it was some mysterious new creature. But it was actually just someone playing with a kite. In 2008, someone took a picture of this creature because they'd never seen it before. But it turned out to be a half-decomposed raccoon. Like, comment, and share for part 2. What should I get your brother for his birthday? I have no clue. <sighs> I have an idea. Can you go talk to your brother and try to see what he wants without making it too obvious? Sure, whatever. <laughs> Happy birthday, Luke. Tickets? For what? Well, your sister heard you listening to the song called Losing It by Fisher last week, so I decided to get you two tickets to Chasing Summer in Calgary so you could go watch him perform live. Really? What is it? Tonight, so go get ready. Thank you guys so much!
This next game you'll need to get into groups of three. Luke, do you have a group? No. Perfect, because Xavier doesn't either, so the three of us can be a group. Awesome! <laughs> so everyone would agree with me that we can't breathe underwater, right? What? You don't believe me? <gasps> a prisoner invented Lamborghini. Ferruccio Lamborghini was a farmer, but he was more interested in the machinery like tractors. In 1940, he was drafted into the Italian Royal Air Force where he served as a mechanic. He was later taken as a prisoner by the British at the end of war in 1945. He worked as their mechanic and they let him go after a year. After the war in his spare time, he started making tractors and named them Lamborghinis. It ended up being one of the largest manufacturers of its kind in Italy. With his success, he started collecting cars. He was disappointed with his Ferrari 250 GT because the clutch kept breaking. When he brought it to a mechanic, he found out that the car used the same clutch he uses in some of his tractors. He was mad because he pays 10 euros for a tractor's clutch and a thousand euros for the car's clutch. He decided to tell the founder Enzo Ferrari about the problems. But he said the problem wasn't with the car, it was with him because he's a farmer and a tractor driver, not a car manufacturer. After that, Ferruccio was determined, so he hired three ex-employees from Ferrari. And nine months later, his first sports car came out, which was the Lamborghini 350 GT. It proved to everyone that he wasn't just a tractor manufacturer. His employees started working on a secret project car called the Miura P400, which Ferruccio didn't know about. When he found out about it, he decided not to scrap the idea, which ended up being one of his best decisions ever. It was the world's first sports car to be made with a rear mid engine and the rear mid engine became standard on all high performance cars i'm sorry but you suffer from a terminal illness and you only have 10 to live 10 what years months weeks nine what eight see that old lady right there do you want to go steal her purse no why would you even say something like that oh my mom's calling hello hi honey you had me worried i've called you like five times now where are you tell her you're with me uh, I'm with Jesse. Oh, you're with Jesse? Why didn't you tell me? Can I talk to him? Sure. Hello, Mrs. Davidson. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, thank you. I'll drop off Luke in a few minutes. I know it's getting late. Oh, don't worry about it. I don't mind him being out late if it's with you. You're a good kid. Aw, thanks, Mrs. Davidson. Well, it was nice talking to you. You too. Bye. Jeez, what a good kid. All right, I'll be right back. I'm going to go rob that store that the lady just walked into. <laughs> I just got 150,000 followers on TikTok. No one asked. If you didn't ask, then why are you listening? Are you ready to leave yet? What? No, we just got here. Well, I can't stand this music, so I'm leaving. Hey, are you the host of this party? Yeah, man, what's up? Is this your music playing? Yeah, this song's fire, isn't it? No, it's so old. Your mom's old and you still listen to her. <gasps> I'm just joking, bro. Here, I'll add you to the lobby. The lobby? Yeah, we're using aux. What is that? Be quick or I'm leaving. It's an app that links with Spotify or Apple Music and creates a playlist based on everybody's music tastes. And anyone in the lobby can add whatever song they want to the playlist. So basically what you're telling me is if I download this app, I can add my favorite song to the playlist? Yeah, man. Hey, I'm back. What? Why? I ran into the host and <gasps> here it is. Baby shark doo 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 doo. Baby shark doo 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 doo. Baby shark doo. Can you see God? No. Can you touch God? No. Then there isn't a God. Ma'am, can you see your brain? No. Can you touch your brain? No. Oh, so you don't have a brain? <gasps> well, I'm no artist, but I'll try my best. Look who decided to show. Can someone tell me what they wrote? Remember, there are no bad ideas. How many times do I need to tell you guys? Put your name on the paper! Jeez! <laughs> hey, if I wanted to hear animal noises, I would go to the zoo. Now be quiet! Has anyone seen my coffee? How am I supposed to help you if I can't read your writing? I wish I could help, but I can't even read it. No, you can't go to the bathroom. But my mama said if I have to go to the bathroom, I could just walk out. I don't care what your mom says. This is my classroom, and I said no. You must be exhausted. Why? Because you've been running through my mind all day. Oh. What's your name? Shakim Washim. That name sounds familiar. Oh, I remember. It was next to the word gorgeous in the dictionary. Oh. Nice. <laughs> no. Hey, can you assist this patient? I have to check the patient in the other room. 
Okay, dog. Where's the patient? I told him to go home because he wasn't feeling well. What? Um, have you seen my phone? I can't find it. No? Where did you use it last? I'm like 99% sure it was when I was laying in bed, but I already looked in my bedroom. Did you leave it in the bathroom? Uh, let me go check. Nope, not there. What about in your car? I couldn't find it there either. Hmm, you said you were on it in your bed. Did you check underneath it? Oh, no, I don't think I did. Ah, oh, I can't see. Here's the three most dangerous kid toys. The kite tube was made to be pulled behind a boat and then raised up into the air. But when people would get up into the air, they would have no control. And although it looks fun, three adults were killed from falling off. This floaty was made for babies to sit in. However, it was cheaply made and ripped easily, causing babies to fall into the water. The company was fined $650 for knowing about this problem for six years. Slip and slides may not seem dangerous, however, they're only meant for kids. In 1993, there was a warning issued for teens and adults using slip and slides. The slides aren't long enough for their size and weight, so people People were getting hurt from the sudden stop. At the time of the warning, one teenager and seven adults had become paralyzed from neck injuries. Would you like some nuts? I have a couple almonds and hazelnuts if you'd like. Sure. Here you go. Thank you. Would you like some more? How come you don't eat them yourself? Because I have no teeth. Then why do you buy them? I just like to suck the chocolate off them. <gasps> I'm wondering if you could show me how to change my wallpaper. Yeah, for sure. Just right click on your desktop. Okay, did you get a little pop-up menu? Uh, nope. Okay, right-click again, and do you see a pop-up menu now? No. Okay, can you just tell me what you've done up to this point? Sure, you told me to right-click on the desktop, so I wrote down click. <gasps> I want you.